The Ukrainian army's breakthrough deep into the Kursk region continues and is accompanied by mass surrender of Russian soldiers. A new video has been published online showing captured Russians being loaded into a military Ural truck. The video was published by the Telegram channel Ukraine365. Ukrainian military admit that they have unexpectedly encountered a problem related to the huge number of prisoners. Now they all need to be loaded and delivered to Ukrainian camps for subsequent exchange. However, there are so many prisoners that logistics are working at the limit. No one expected that there would be so many Russian prisoners. According to various estimates, they have already managed to capture about 1,000 Russian soldiers, including many conscripts who have no experience in combat and surrender almost immediately. Russian human rights activist Vladimir Osechkin reports that the scale of surrender of Russian soldiers in the Kursk region is off the charts. Everything is documented, including video recordings. This is an unprecedented disgrace in the history of Putin's Russia, they write on social networks. I Want to Live, a project run by Ukraine's Defense Intelligence, has released a video of Russian prisoners of war who say they are from the Chechen city of Grozny. According to the project, they were captured in the Russia's Kursk Oblast. Raid groups captured these Kadyrovites deep in the rear, far from the border. They say that they tried to flee to avoid being captured, as Ramzan Kadyrov once claimed that members of the Akhmat unit never surrender. Well, usually they don't because they hide in the rear. But the situation in Kursk Oblast has unfolded rapidly and these Akhmat members did not even try to resist. It is said in the video. In the video, several of the captives state that they are from Grozny. Iran is preparing to supply Russia with hundreds of ballistic missiles with a range of 120 kilometers, Reuters reports, citing sources in European intelligence. The publication notes that dozens of Russian troops are currently training in Iran to use the FAF-360 ballistic missile system with hundreds of satellite-guided weapons expected to be imminently delivered to Russia for its war in Ukraine. Russian defense officials signed a contract with Iranian officials in Tehran on December the 13th for the fath 360 and other ballistic missile systems built by Iran's state-owned aerospace industries organization called Ababil, the publication writes. The two European intelligence sources did not provide exact timelines for the potential delivery of FAF-360 missiles to Russia, but indicated that it will happen soon. A representative of the U.S. National Security Council has already stated that the U.S. and its NATO allies are prepared to deliver a swift and severe response if Iran were to move forward with such transfers. It is worth noting that Iranian FAF-360 missiles can strike targets within a radius of 120 kilometers and have warheads weighing 150 kilograms. A few years ago, Defense Express reported that experts consider Iranian FAF-360 missiles to be analogues to American HIMARS. In particular, they have satellite guidance capabilities. According to Reuters, the supply of such missiles could allow Russia to use its own long-range missiles for striking targets beyond the front lines, while the Iranian weaponry would be intended for closer-range actions. It should be noted that rumors about Iran supplying ballistic missiles to Russia have already appeared in the media. In February of this year, Reuters also reported that Russia had received hundreds of Zolfagar missiles which can destroy targets at distances of up to 700 kilometers. However, such rumors have not been confirmed by Ukrainian intelligence or other official sources.